Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on how to create a checkerboard design in Affinity Photo. You can see the design there. Nice checkerboard design. Very quick and easy way of creating. And the key thing here is to use a grid. Grids are super useful and also maybe snap if you want to use the snapping as well. So view and show grid. And you can modify the grid via the grid and access manager. So if you want to modify it, there's also a video about the grid and access manager on this channel. And snapping manager if you want to put snapping to be on. So you can see snap and snap to grid. Sometimes I find it easier not to have snapping. Now I used some text there, but you can also use shapes as well or images. It doesn't have to be. So I'm just going to select, oh, let's go for a donut. So a donut there and simply drag out and fill in that sort of nine, nine cells, three by three. What you can then do, you can simply just drag, hold down the alter option key and drag out. And you can see nicely in that bottom cell. So it's along that line, along that line. They're just nicely spaced. With that, just select both. Now you can't use the pattern selection feature like this. What you need to do is you need to, with images that will be fine, right. but it's with shapes, you need to convert them to a pixel layer. So go to layer menu and go down to merge visible. So they become a pixel layer. You can't see that, view and studio and layers. So you can see now pixel and you can remove the originals if you want, get rid of that. What you can then do is go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. And that's it. So you can see your design. I'm just going to remove that. And of course, you can rotate that, move that around. And of course, you can hold down the alter option key and duplicate that as well. So you can create all kinds of different designs. I'm just going to go back. Get rid of that. Let's go back to the original donuts. Now I've got obviously orange one there. Of course, I could use a different color. Maybe go for that color. So you could create a different design, obviously, just use that instead of just two orange ones. Perfect reasonable as well. Also, of course, you don't have to have a donut there. It's another one. You could just have very simple, just a rounded rectangle, say. And again, use exactly the same thing, just that cell, and it's within that cell, and simply then select both. See over here, selected, layer, and go to merge visible. Both become a pixel layer, and then go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. And you can see your design there. Okay, remove those if you don't want them. And again, that can be, see, I like that. And you can rotate it and much, much more. So it's a lovely, quick, easy way for a checkable design. Like I say, type, images, all kinds of things. Doesn't have to be, obviously, it's these vector shapes. And of course, once you've got those, what you can always do, you can always apply effects as well. So just the pattern layer, just go up here. Don't want to rename it. Just select it. And you can maybe use layers, layer and new live field later, layer even. And maybe go for twirl or maybe liquify or perspective. And that's quite good because what you can do, you can then apply it so it looks like the checkerboard design goes off into the distance. So there's a whole range of different designs you can do there. Or not, if you don't want to do that. Well, I hope you found this of interest. Always had new tutorials about Finity Photo, Finity Designer, Publisher, also Photoshop, Illustrator, Critter, and many others. Also, please add some comments. A dislike or like. Always appreciated. Thank you much.